Hi everybody and thank you for tuning in to my video today. Um, today's video I wanted to discuss this year-long project that I'm taking part in. It's by Ellie Edwards and it's called One Little Word. Ellie Edwards is a scrapbooking, memory-keeping guru and between her and Michelle Baxter, who again is also a planning guru, <laughs> um, I really just enjoyed what I've been learning. So the gist of one little word is you pick a word that embodies what you want to do or feel or believe that year. So for example, believe could be a word. Um, for me, I've chosen the word calm. Um, 2017 was a really, really rough year for me, um, emotionally, mentally, and then health-wise too. So I didn't want that to happen again. And 2018 for my family is going to be somewhat similar. We're moving to a new city that we don't know very well. You have to worry about where you're gonna live and what you're gonna do. And, and I just didn't like who I became last year with all the stress I was feeling. So this year I really wanted to focus um, on being more calm and uh, reasonable with what was going on around me and maybe not process it quite as emotionally or I want to say aggressively in terms of how it made me feel. Um, so therefore I decided calm would be my word for 2018. So um, I'm using a Recollections six ring binder to do my calm memory keeping for my one little word. Um, when you sign up for the project, um, Ellie Edwards will send you um, the digital files. She does have um, actual kits that you can purchase. However, they sell out very quickly. And unfortunately, I missed out, so I'm having to kind of make do a little bit with what I can come up with. So this is my setup for my binder. Um, the calm, which I journaled into my bullet journal, and then just some added texture. So um, I created my own, my own pocket folders um, using my Fuse tool, which I'll be posting a tutorial on that. Um, but just to kind of give it more visual interest, I wanted to just create different textures and different feel feelings, and yeah. So my one word, which is calm. Um, she sends you prompts every month um, to talk about the importance of the word in your life and to remind you of that word. Um, so we were required to do a definition and come up with a quotation. Mine is a Dalai Lama quote. A calm mind brings inner strength and self-confidence, so that's very important for good health. So that one, I really love that quote. It encompasses the self-confidence and the good health that I want to focus on this year. Um, things I need to let go of. Perfectionism. Worrying about things I can't control. Not asking for help when I really need it. Being angry as an escape emotion. And always second guessing myself. So this YouTube channel, my blog, my, um, my Dabi More Life Instagram account, all of this is part of working on my perfectionism and just my overall control issues, if you will. Because once something's out there, you can't control what happens to it or what it does. So it's, it's very important for me and I really appreciate people partaking in this journey with me. I, I appreciate it more than words can say. Um, so more journaling cards. Um, trust the weight, embrace the uncertainty, enjoy the beauty of becoming. When nothing is certain, anything is possible. And then progress, not perfection, which was pretty much my mantra for the last three months of 2017. Um, we set intentions, we looked at the year ahead, and then just what we'd like to accomplish this year. So as you can see, I have a lot more file folders to fill up. Um, as the year goes by, we, I will be sharing with you as we go, um, as this is a really 
hope this is going to give me what I need in terms of that kick in the butt to really work on myself in terms of calm and being reasonable. Um, in all the research I've done and the reading I've done, I've realized that patience is a part of calm for me at least. So patience will definitely be a companion word as well as breathe. Breathe is very important as well. Um, so those will be my companion words to my word calm as I believe breathing and patience lead to a calmer mind. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. And those of you who know me, calm is not exactly a word you'd use to describe me. So this is possibly the biggest self-improvement undertaking I've ever done. So we'll see how it goes. Now, as I said, I missed the boat on the kit, purchasing the kit. So um, I'm using pocket pages that I've purchased in the past through Project Life. Um, I have some recollections and we are memory keeper, we are memory keepers files, um, folders in here. And then I'm using a Michael's paper kit called Midnight Garden to do my accent colors and my accent pieces. So, yeah. So that's what I'll be working on all year. I'll be checking in periodically with you guys so that you can see and hear about the progress I've made. Um, I will be doing a blog post about this in some capacity. Um, I really want to be honest this year and honest with the people in my life and the people who follow me. So I'm hoping that'll be reflected in my blog post too. Um, everybody struggles with something so it's always nice to hear that you're not alone and I'm hoping to show you that you're not alone if you need that help and show you how I'm coping with certain aspects of life or adulting as we call it so thank you today thank you for watching today again you can check out my blog uh, mydabimalife.com and my Instagram account, which my handle is at mydabimalife. Thank you very much.